In this video, we're talking about how to evaluate a limit using L'Hospital's rule, and we've been given the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x divided by x plus x squared. Now, the difficulty in evaluating this limit is that if we plug x equals 0 into this function here, what we would get is sine of 0 divided by 0 plus 0 squared. And if we evaluated this, sine of 0 is 0, and obviously 0 plus 0 squared is going to be 0. So what we end up with is 0 divided by 0. And something like this is called an indeterminate form, either 0 over 0, infinity divided by infinity, 0 times infinity, things like that. Those are all indeterminate forms. And when we get an indeterminate form by evaluating at the number here that we're approaching, we know that we're going to want to use L'Hospital's rule to evaluate the limit. And L'Hospital's rule tells us that we can replace the numerator with its derivative and replace the denominator with its derivative. And then if we do that once or sometimes many times, it'll reduce this function to a point where we'll be able to evaluate at the number that we're approaching. So to apply L'Hospital's rule, all we want to do is take the derivative of the numerator and denominator and replace the numerator and denominator with their derivatives. So we keep the limit here the same. We just say the limit as x approaches 0. Now the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, so our new numerator instead of sine of x will be cosine of x, and then the derivative of x plus x squared is 1 plus 2x, so the new denominator is just 1 plus 2x instead of x plus x squared. So we just replaced the numerator and the denominator with their respective derivatives. And now that we've applied L'Hospital's rule one time, we want to go ahead and plug in at x equals 0 to see if we get a real number answer here instead of an indeterminate form. So plugging in at 0, we're going to get cosine of 0 divided divided by 1 plus 2 times 0. And when we evaluate this, cosine of 0 is 1. In the denominator, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So we get 1 over 1, or 1. And now we have a real number answer instead of an indeterminate form. So we can say that the limit of the original function as x approaches 0 is, in fact, 1 here. So that's going to be the limit. And applying L'Hospital's rule doesn't affect the validity of this answer. This is the limit of the original function, even though we use L'Hospital's rule to take the derivative of the new numerator and denominator and replace the numerator and denominator with their derivatives. So this is going to be the limit. And the cool thing about L'Hospital's rule is that even if we had gotten here 0 over 0 or some other indeterminate form, we can continue applying L'Hospital's rule as many times as we want to over and over and over again until evaluating at the limit gives a real number answer. So if we had gotten 0 over 0 again, we could have just applied L'Hospital's rule one more time and tried evaluating at x equals 0. If we had continued to get an indeterminate form, we would just apply L'Hospital's rule over and over until finally we got to a real number. And that's how you use L'Hospital's rule to evaluate a limit. 